What's up ladies and gents, Trending Guy Autism here with another video review on Transformers Combiner Wars Legends Class Hot Rod or Rodimus or whatever you want to call him. Look, okay, first we're going to look at the card and just to see that it is not like this toy. Rodimus. Anyway, you, you stay away. Anyway, uh, I'm not much of a, I'm not much of like a G1 praiser. Like I, I respect it for what it is. It's just... People don't make it, like, I just didn't have the fondest memories of it because I didn't find it all that good, to be honest. This, I only got seven episodes in. But honestly, this is Hot Rod. This is not Rodimus. This is Hot Rod. Rodimus is the leader of the Lost Light. This is a, this is Hot Rod. No ifs or, but, but you can call it whatever you want. You can call it Rodimus. You can call it Hot Rod. I don't care. It's, it's yours and, you know, it's your toy. Just do whatever you want with it. Anyways, here we have a uh, Hot Rod Rodimus. I, for the sake of the review, I'm just going to call it Rodimus. Here we have Rodimus, who is just a repaint, remold of Blackjack. And um, uh, if you notice, the rims are silver. It's because I took a silver Sharpie to them. I just, yeah. He's got silver up here, but they couldn't really put silver on the rims. Anyway, you've got a... Uh, it's a, just a primarily red card. There's some flame... There's this nice flame deco going on. They could have put an Autobot symbol here, but they didn't. For some reason, a uh, nice metallic blue going all around the windows. It's it's a very nice metallic blue, and um, if you notice, the plastic does have a metal flake finish to it. Like it's look, it's all sparkly, and I like it. And uh, if you flip it underside, you can. There's no not much visible robot, but you can pretty much see how some of it's gonna work. Uh, he does roll quite well. And, um, yeah. For comparison, here he is with Bombshell, another Combiner Wars legend. I don't think I got him transformed alright. My one-legged Bombshell is all got one leg. He's missing a leg. But, you know, it still works. Here he is with the Deluxe Series of Prowl. Let's get that sense of scale. And here he is with an RPM. Because these are still hip. So, um, yeah. He is a repaint of Blackjack. So he comes with Blackjack's axe just cast in this yellowish orange plastic. And, uh, same storage. You got the two slots up here that'll tap into that these two tabs will plug into. And this is the motif that kind of hints to everyone that this is going to be Hot Rod, unless it was already announced be beforehand. But if you didn't know this would, this would, that Blackjack would be this guy, then uh, this definitely gave it away. And, you know, he's got a little, like, gun barrel molded in there, so it's like he's shooting upwards. And uh, being a repaint of um, Blackjack, he does store the same way as uh, Blackjack does. So we get our, uh, we'll take our... Menace or chest. And you know how this works. You got the two tabs on the slots on the roof cell that the two tabs will plug into. And here's now a chest plate. And then you've got the these chest piece bits I'll plug into these ports under here. While uh, my camera does not lose its focus for a bit. You just slide it up and press it in and hope it doesn't explode. And there you go. I need to raise the camera up a bit more. Sorry, sorry. My camera is so close to the uh, error hockey. Anyway, this is how it works. Uh, it's not secure at all. I mean, there are like if you look if you look at the uh, pegs themselves, there are like little stoppers on them, which you could just shave down, which I've already done. It's just I'm not sure if there's like a proper orientation or this is the specifically. Fit this or this just specifically fits well with Prime. It just on Menacer just it just doesn't wanna just doesn't want to uh, stay on at all. That's unfortunate. I'm trying to lower the camera back down, but it's not working. Like I said, my tripod is literally up against the table like no one's business. Anyway, down for to transformation because we've had enough of this all mode. Oh yes, some silver like. Headlights going on. That's a nice. That's nice as well. Anyway, decent alt mode. Let's get to robot mode. So we're gonna take 
these side fender pieces and bring them outward like so. And we're going to rotate and orient the elbows to make it look like arms. Next we're going to separate this section to just, you see these like two little clips, like this, these gaps will just clip in to these sections right there. Uh, next we're going to take the whole back section and bring it up, bring it up on the, on this hinge and then bring it back. We're going to take the legs, separate them, they're the um, bombshell like ports. Like they did, they just slide. You don't want to, you don't want to really pull them apart. And uh, we're almost done. We just bring this section down on that hinge, and then bring this roof section down on this hinge. And I got saliva on the Foo Fighter. And here, and that's pretty much it. We have a hot rod Rodimus in his robot mode. Head sculpt is a very uh, hot rod. And there's there's a there's like Rodimus Q there's like a queue of Rodimus with the uh, yellow crest, but uh, yeah, it's a very hot rodish head. You got the silver paint and the blue eyes, and yeah, it's hot rod. I mean, like he doesn't have the uh, signature spoiler look, but you can take like a piece of like sticky tack or clay and then just stick it on the back, stick stick it to the axle and then stick it to the back and you give him that wing look. And you got some more paint going on here. You got the gray here. You got the silver on the shoulders and the tampographed Autobot symbol. And that's about it. You know, needs more paint, but I'm used to it by now. Articulation, head does a full 360. It is on a swivel. Shoulders do a full 360 on a ball joint. They go outward and inward. You got a bicep swivel, an elbow joint, no wrist swivel, no waist articulation. Hips go forward. They can go so, so, sort of back, but the back clutter gets in the way. Hips go outward and inward. You get a thigh swivel and knee joint, both functioning on a ball joint. And that's it. He's a little legends guy. He's as poseable as he needs to be. Give him his axe. And uh, yeah, he's a nice little uh, nice little figure. And for comparison. Here he is with a G.I. Joe. Just get a sense of that scale. Here he is with little Hanky Poo. Here he is with the uh, RPM standing up. Because, you know, you got a little molded bumblebee under there. It doesn't stand up on its own. Here he is with a Legends uh, Compadre. Here he is with uh, Bombshell. Here he is with a Deluxe. Here he is with Prowl. And just because, here he is with Motormaster. Let's get a sense of how he scales there. And, uh, yeah. Little baby Hot Rod. I mean, Combining Wars is over up to this point. We're, uh, neck deep into Titan's Return right now, and, uh, you know, Ultra Prime, Sky Rain, it's all over now, but the repaints still keep coming in Titan's Return. <laughs> uh, but I like little Hot Rod here. He's a cute little figure. Uh, if you already have the Blackjack, like if you want to complete Ultra Prime, I suggest you pick this up. But if you have like the Titan's Return Hot Rod or something, I think you're better off without this one. Unless you want it, it's up to you, I don't know. Because to me, I'm okay with this. I might even get the Titan's Return one as well, so... Yeah, that's it.